Hey there, fellow creators. Welcome back to another tutorial on the ultimate weapon customization system for Unreal Engine 5. Today, we're diving into something exciting, adding a brand new custom part to your customization system. Before we jump in, make sure to grab the Cust Wet Borders 3ds Max file from the description below. This file will be your best friend for keeping your designs on point. When you open the Cust Wet Borders file, you'll notice transparent shapes. These shapes indicate the borders for each part while you're designing your weapon. See that large red box? That's your bound barrel, and behind it, the blue box with an X shape? That's your design center. Keeping your parts within these borders and aligned with the center ensures the best results. Let's get started by modeling a new design for a barrel bullet scatter. We'll skip the modeling part because this tutorial is all about the customization process. Once your model is ready, remember to move its pivot to the world center 0, 0, 0. Also, be mindful to stay within the borders while designing. With your high and low poly meshes ready, it's time for some UV unwrapping. Now, let's design a new stock to replace the standard one. Just like before, stick to the rules, borders and design center. After this tutorial, you'll have both your new and old models in your project as a bonus. Before diving into Substance Painter, we'll export the Unreal version with bones included in the FBX. For the skinning part, each part gets a specific bone assignment. Here are the details. Include those three bones from the WWEP skeleton layer in your skin modifier. If your part is the barrel, give it 100% skinning weight to the barrel bone. For the magazine, allocate 100% skinning weight to the mag bone. Any other parts should get 100% skinning weight to the root bone. There's one exception for additional parts like the rocket. Move the rocket itself to the center, not just the pivot, and give it a bone called rocket root in the skin modifier. Next, export and import your new parts into Substance Painter. Over in Substance Painter, we've baked and textured our barrel bullet scatter and stock standard with some cool materials. But the real magic is yet to come. In the Ultimate Weapon Customization System version 2 update, we introduced color customization. You can add numerous skins using just two colors. To make this work, we need to export two masks indicating the areas of these controlled colors. In the Texture Set section, add User 0, User 1 and User 2 channels. User 0 represents your main color, User 1 your secondary color, and User 2 is for emissive lighting, if needed. Create layers to define the User 0 and User 1 areas. To make this job easier and cleaner, create a smart mask for each layer. Don't forget to verify your results for each layer. Now, let's export those textures. Base color, RGB pops A, where RGB is for the color map, and A is for any translucency, if needed. For instance, we utilize translucency in our 1x scope asset. Additionally, export the ORM map stands for ambient occlusion, roughness, metallic, emissive map, normal and color mask, three in one texture, R for user zero, G for user one, B for user two. Back in Unreal Engine, import your new meshes, ensuring the skeletal mesh checkbox is ticked. Select the S WebSuck skeleton from the skeleton options. Choose do not create a material for the material import method and press import all. In the blueprints folder, locate the editor utility widget called replace with a custom part. Right click and choose Run Editor Utility Widget. Here you'll find options for replacing different weapon parts. In our case, to replace the barrel bullet scatter, select the barrel button, then choose the barrel bullet scatter button. Now, on the top of this menu, there's a checker with a green message indicating that our original parts are in place. So, let's proceed by filling in the following data. First, set our skeletal mesh by picking your new custom mesh from the content browser and clicking on the corresponding button. Next, open our new barrel textures folder and assign the base color, ORM, normal, and color mask textures to their respective buttons. Since we don't have an emissive view map, click the set no texture button. Now that everything is set up, before we click on the replace part button, let's take a moment to bid farewell to our old barrel bullet scatter. With that done, we can finally click on the Replace Part button and let the magic happen. Now, let's examine our newly added Bullet Barrel Scatter. I'm happy with this result. Our next move is to head back to the main category. 
and choose a stock to replace with our new standard stock. Click on the stock standard button and fill in the necessary details. Also, let's take a moment to bid farewell to the old stock standard. Afterward, click on the replace part button. Now let's inspect our freshly added custom stock standard part. However, if you've noticed that the button images for the new barrel and stock don't match our new custom part, and in the selection window, avatars don't reflect the changes, we'll address this issue in a moment. Now, navigate to the Maps folder and access the Studio Map. Click Play and select the Take Avatar Shots button. This process may take approximately three minutes to complete. Once it displays a black screen, hold the simulation, then click on the Import button located in the lower right corner of the screen. We'll repeat this procedure, but this time choose the Take Icon Parts Shots button. Wait until it's finished, then click Import. That's it for this step. Now, return to the main menu map and inspect our new avatars. They should look great. Let's also verify if our mask textures are functioning correctly by experimenting with different weapon colors. As you can see, everything is clean and working smoothly. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and you're welcome to join our Discord community. Best of luck and see you next time.